So I've been doing some videos on stem cell treatment with the knees, knee, um, and I've started to get some questions regarding ethics and um, definitions and uh, issues regarding um, snake oil salesmen and things like that in terms of uh, poor use of these of these uh, therapies. I thought I'd do some. Um, brief uh, questions, answers, definitions regarding um, stem cell. If you go to the NIH, National Institutes of Health site, they've got some great stem cell uh, information areas. One of them I would suggest is just the uh, stem cell basics. They have several questions that they, that they deal with. What are stem cells and why are they important? I'm going to deal with that one quickly. A stem cell is basically a cell that can replicate. It can self-renew it can uh, make itself. It also differentiates into different types of cells. Up until recently, the mature cells, the differentiated cells, could not come backwards. We have, uh, scientists have recently discovered ways to induce um, mature or differentiated cells back into um, stem cells. You'll hear a couple of other terms, totipotent, which means uh, it can go into any of these, any of these cell, cell lines, pluripotent, which means uh, just a couple of different cell lines. By cell lines, I'm talking about basic types of cells. Red blood cells is one, white cells is another, muscle, nerve, bone, uh, fat, other types of tissues. Um, <clears throat> now, I wanted to cover some stuff that um, gets into ethical, a lot of ethical concerns. The first one is uh, embryonic stem cells. Um, I'm not aware of any embryonic uh, stem cell treatments being approved by the FDA. I don't think they are. Uh, so when you hear about people actually doing, quote, stem cells, it's usually what we call adult stem cells, where uh, uh, some tissue is obtained usually from fat on the belly or back, and uh, all, either from fat or uh, bone marrow. So we have cells within our body called adult stem cells. Um, and I'm going to spend the... I'm going to talk a little bit more about those uh, on this video. Um, <clears throat> first of all, what are adult uh, stem cells? They are stem cells that we find in adults. Adults have them. Uh, until we die. Uh, where are they found? In all, um, a lot of tissues, almost all. Uh, they've been found in um, brain, bone, bone marrow, fat. Um, they've found uh, some uh, stem cells in the uh, in the teeth of of infants. Somatic stem cells are uh, found in the body. Um, again, embryonic stem cells grown from uh, in vitro fertilized pre-implantation uh, embryos are not part of this discussion. They're, we're just talking about adult stem cells. One other point to make is that um, quite often when you hear about quote, stem cell therapy, there's actually little to no stem, uh, stem cell involvement. Um, a thing called uh, platelet-rich plasma is very commonly used, especially for knees, and that's basically just blood that has been spun down to get a concentration called the buffy coat, which is, um, includes a higher concentration, maybe five times or more the concentration of platelets in the blood. Um, platelets are not stem cells at all. They're not even a complete cell. They cannot replicate. The reason platelets are, uh, are sought is they, are, they have a lot of growth factor in them. And that the idea is that the um, growth factor will stimulate growth of the cartilage. Um, <clears throat> actually, stem cell, uh, adult stem cell research began in the 1950s. Uh, researchers noticed that there were two types of stem cells in bone marrow. One called hematopoietic stem cells formed the blood. Uh, the other was mesenchymal 
or um, stromal, actually, stromal stem cells. Here's a, a uh, picture of it. So if, you, if this is the bone, it's obviously the femur, the big hip bone, and that's the ball and socket. Here you're going down and looking deeper in the marrow itself. These are hematopoietic cells. So this cell line can go out and form uh, killer T cells, other T cells, B cells, uh, leukocytes, uh, again, all the white cells. We've mentioned platelets before. Platelets are not cells in and of, them, of themselves, but they, they are, they're little uh, parts of the cell that, are, that break off freely from what's called a large plasma site. Um, stromal cells uh, may have fat, and they have, uh, may have uh, connective tissue. Now, one of the questions here is, are there... Um, are there uh, muscle cells in there or hepatic cells, li liver cells? So a couple of questions related to that. <clears throat> Again, back to where these have been found. They've been found in brain, bone marrow, peripheral blood, blood vessels, skeletal uh, muscle, skin, teeth, heart, gut, liver, ovarian, epithelium, and testis. When you see these uh, cells in a tissue, they tend to found to be found in what's called a stem cell niche. It's a small area where the, um, where the stem cell resides. Now what's important about that? Well, all the other cells around that cell are differentiating and maturing irreversibly. But within that one niche, these stem cells remain undifferentiated and can replicate. Then something happens, like an injury nearby, and something happens within that niche. These are critical questions. What is happening to, um, to cause these changes, to protect these uh, stem cells from differentiating in the first place, keeping them there uh, in storage on the ready to come out and repair damage when it occurs. Then, when the damage does occur, what stimulates them to do that? Another key question is, once the stem cell gets to the damaged area, how does it know what parts to create? Um, and how does it place itself next to other cells to, again, heal tissue? Um, <clears throat> what, te what tests are used to identify uh, stem cells, adult stem cells? Well, just one, one point about um, adult versus uh, embryonic stem cells. The, Adult stem cells really can't replicate too far uh, after uh, being removed from the body. The embryonic stem cells tend to have longer stem cell lines. Again, except for induced uh, pluripotent uh, stem cells. <laughs> induced is, uh, I'll, I'll do a video later on uh, stem cell inducement, but that's where you're taking adult cells, and they've done it a lot with skin uh, cells, for example, made some changes with them and um, created uh, pluripotent uh, stem cells that have gone, actually gone way backwards and able to form multiple different cell lines. Again, that's a, a different question for a different time. This is just some basic uh, 101 type of information to help us begin to realize that uh, this is not um, this is not what many people think, killing babies, things like that. This is um, embryonic stem cells are still not being used um, routinely under uh, FDA approval. Uh, when they are used, they are coming from stem cell lines, which were generated um, from. Um, uh, in vitro fertilized um, embryo and uh, replications of those stem cells, uh, lines and generations. Um, <clears throat> adult stem cells are the things that are being used. Um, there are two major sources from them, for, as, <coughs> excuse me, especially for something like the knee. The first, uh, the two sources would be um, adult bone marrow, and uh, fat. Now there's a lot of debate about uh, bone marrow derived versus fat derived uh, stem cells. 
But that's again for a later video.